Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Nvidia GDC in Washington, and I'm super excited to be with Jeff from Hammer Space. Jeff, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. Excited to chat today. Thank you very much. Really excited to be here. Uh, Jeff, just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Hammer Space and what does Hammer Space do? You got it. So. Uh, I'm Jeff Eccles, um, Vice President of our Strategic Partners and our AI Solutions. And I spend a lot of time with our, our key partners that are helping us go to market, uh, NVIDIA being probably one of the most important, um, and also have an AI Solutions team that's working on the solution we're going to talk about today and some of the packaging for it. Love it, uh, excited to chat. Uh, so let's dive in. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know what's fundamentally different about the Hammer Space AI data platform solution compared to the traditional AI storage or parallel file systems. Uh, any thoughts around that? Absolutely. So, Hammer Space is a software defined solution. Right. Uh, some of what we're doing today is starting to kind of put that packaging together in more of the uh, NVIDIA reference architecture, which we'll talk about. But the difference with what we do and what others do is it's very much data centric. Um, I've been in the storage world for a long time. Hammerspace actually being a, a data focused solution uh, is, is something that can, it's got a global parallel file system, uh, single namespace, and data orchestration that kind of makes all that stuff work together. Nice. And so the, the cool thing about that is um, we can actually pull data from multiple devices, clouds, on-prem locations, and do a lot of cool things for AI use cases. Also, one more thing that I wanted to you know, touch base on was something around which every company is now talking about, which is MCP. Uh, how do you kind of feel uh, Hammer Space uh, view MCP in the future of AI data strategy? Do you have any thoughts around that? I, I, I do. I've got some great Please thoughts do. on this. So, Please do. Please do, Delos, yeah. So part of what we rolled out today is a, a solution stack with uh, NVIDIA's AI data platform blueprint uh, along with Hammerspace software. And as part of that solution, we are actually uh, integrating MCP into that solution. Um, and you know, we see that as kind of a, uh, a super set above APIs, right? So you know, we think it's the, it's the future because that's how the AI world and the, and the LLMs and agents are going to communicate with each other. Uh, so this is our first attempt uh, at, at building that MCP server into the solution. Uh, so it really helps cu set customers up for the agentic use cases that are coming, and I, we can talk about that in a second too. Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good point, and uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the announcement as well? Uh, sure. So the announcement highlights tight uh, uh, alignment with the NVIDIA AI data platform reference design. Can you unpack what this alignment means technically uh, for those sure. who are kind of you know wanting to understand and deep dive into technical stuff. You got it. So, uh, if if you're if you're new to the to the world that you know is, is you know being unveiled this last few months with Nvidia, there's two different key things that Nvidia cares about right now. One of those is the AI factory, and the other one is the AI data platform, which is making right. your enterprise data ready for AI factories. Right. Yep. So, um, what we've done is we have announced a solution that will integrate the RTX 6000 Pro Server Edition. Nice. Uh, along with, you know, with with uh, 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 infrastructure like like a like a server, Hammerspace software, all of that kind of packaged together, and uh, you know, sold and supported for customers that are trying to drop something in to make their enterprise data ready for AI factories, and that's right. the solution we're, we, we announced today. Uh, that's awesome, and uh, thanks for sharing that and unpacking that for us. Uh, also, curious question uh, around Hammerspace itself. Hammerspace is uh, well known for its global namespace and data orchestration capabilities that you touched on. Yep. Uh, are there any new developments in the platform that have helped uh, optimize the solution, but also uh, help the customer to get from point A to point B yep. very quickly? Yeah, so that's uh, one of the cool things about what we announced today is we took we took pieces of the Hammerspace technology and packaged them in a way um, to to you know to kind of build on this Nvidia AI ready story. So, yep. and what I mean by that is we've got um, we've got MCP sitting on top of things like data orchestration, tier zero, which is the ability to use those. NVMe drives in the GPU servers yep. and, and, and a clustered file system. So being able to wrap that with the global namespace and the orchestration together with MCP on top, right. now you've got a way for agents to come into Hammerspace 
and actually uh, ask for data to be moved from one place to another place. Uh, we've got intelligence and, and agents that will actually tag data. So you can, but with, based on those tags, you can move that tag data to a, another place where you've got GPU availability. Maybe that's in the cloud, maybe that's on-prem. Uh, maybe you're using it with those RTX Pros, uh, but it's a very uh, flexible way to move data around for AI use cases. Love it. Uh, thanks for uh, sharing uh, that, Jeff. Uh, one more quick question that I have for you is, uh, what role does tier zero play in uh, optimizing GPU utilization and performance yep. in AI workflows? Any thoughts around that? Yeah, so we were uh, mentioning that's one of those key pieces of technology, those NVMe drives, are already coming along for the ride when, yep. when, when we see customers buy GPU servers. So being able to put all those together in one big parallel file system that's very fast, yep. being able to orchestrate data from you know, tier one or even object storage into those tier zero NVMe drives, now you've got a very high performance way to do whether it could be training, it could be inference, um, but you know, being able to, to move it to that fast tier for the, for the use case needed, and then automatically being able to destage that data, move it back into a cheaper or lower cost uh, form of storage. Yep. You know, that's a, we see that as a very key way uh, to kind of differentiate in this, in this AI world. I love it, uh, I love the differentiation point there. Uh, one last question for you, sure. Jeff, uh, is I know you and your team uh, have been working uh, so much into the partnerships, but in general as well, you kind of put out a lot of content for our audience. And uh, also, Hammerspace in general also have like, have like a lot of content. If folks want to follow uh, the newer announcements, uh, the newer developments that happen at Hammerspace, which is the best place to find? And if they want to also connect with you, which is the best platform to connect? Uh, I mean, connecting with me is probably going to be LinkedIn, and I okay, put a lot fantastic. of our stuff out there. Yeah. Obviously, the website's got a ton of stuff. Nice. Uh, and then there's a YouTube channel as well, so any of those will work great. Fantastic. Uh, Jeff, we'll keep the conversation going, but such a pleasure chatting with you on The Ravid Show, and uh, love the work you and Amazpace have been doing in this space, and uh, making it way different for the larger enterprises out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.